Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would share with you guys what I have been up to lately. I have went crazy buying jackets from Nordstrom, so I thought I would share them with you and show you how I like to style them. Stick around. I bought some beautiful jackets from Nordstrom and I thought you guys might be interested to see what I got and how I like to style them. I feel that when you find something that really works for your particular style and your lifestyle, I think it's a really good rule of thumb fashion wise to just stick with it. That's what I do. I'm really casual, but I love a black leather jacket. I'm not so much of a blazer person, but I do love a beautiful leather jacket or really any kind of jacket. I love a denim jacket and I thought I would show you guys what I got. First jacket that I wanted to show you is by Blank NYC and I think most of these jackets are. This is a red suede and I thought this was just absolutely beautiful and what I really loved about it is the fact that it has the black detail. So on the zippers and the black zipper here, the black snaps and also this is a little different. It's got a belt that literally goes around the jacket. Mine is a size large, which is an equivalent to a 1012. So I would wear this with just about anything. Right now I'm just wearing a cami and some leggings, but I think this would pair well with just about anything you could think of. I really, really like this jacket and I think it's a little bit different. Now this next jacket, if you saw my fall haul, you've already seen this one, but I wanted to show it to you again. It is the most beautiful burgundy color. It's a vegan leather. It is also by the brand Blank NYC. I haven't even worn it yet, but I paid $88 for it. It was on sale. So I love the way it's cut. And I love that the fact that this part is kind of a suede. It's very sleek. It's got a zipper. You can zip it. And I also love the fact that the hem and the sleeves, they're just cut raw. So this is a really nice color, kind of that deep burgundy color. I just love the cut of this jacket and I loved it so much that I also got a black one like it. This is the black one, just like the previous one that I showed you. And I have worn this one and I've noticed that this jacket, even though they're the same size, is cut somewhat larger. It's roomier for some reason. So I guess it was just cut different. And I did fold the sleeves up to give it a different look so you could wear it down or fold it up like that. But they both fit me just fine. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I did get these on sale. If these are still available, I will link them in the description box for you. But $88 is not bad for a beautiful jacket like this. It's very edgy, very classy. I mean, I think you could make it just about any way you wanted it to be according to what you wear with it. Okay, I love this jacket. Now this is a vegan leather jacket also by Blank NYC. It is very edgy. I absolutely love this black and the detail on it. It's kind of a gunmetal hardware and that is what I loved. And again, you can zip it like that, zip it up or down. And it just has so many pretty little details on it. This collar is like this while this size stands up. It's a really edgy jacket. It has so many little zippers. It, this part around the waist, if you can see, you can zip that part off. I probably would never do that, but it's just, wow. When I found this one, I was like, that is what I've been looking for. I was looking for the perfect black leather jacket. Now it's not genuine leather, but it feels like genuine leather. It's very luxurious. This is absolutely right up my alley and this is quite the find. If you like an edgy look, this is the jacket for you. You guys, if you don't get anything, you have to get this one. This is the one jacket that is a definite must have out of this haul because I think for the price, it looks like genuine leather, it looks expensive, it's comfortable, it's warm. This is a fabulous find. So if it's still available, I will definitely put this one in the description box. 
Are you guys ready? <laughs> I've got to fluff up my hair for this one. Bam. What do you think about this? When I saw it, I was like, wow, that is different. But then when it came in, I wasn't so sure. But I sent a picture to Autumn Beckman and she was like, girl, you have to keep that. And I'm so glad that I did. Look at this. This is a real statement piece. I am so thrilled with this jacket. I feel like it's classic, but I think it's classic with an edge, if that makes sense. So, so glad that I kept this. I almost sent it back. My husband was like, who are you, Evil Knievel? <laughs> and I feel a bit like him, but you know what? I feel very daring in this. So, really glad that I got this. Every now and then, I think it's really good to step outside of the box, try something fun, and I think that's what fashion is all about. One more jacket. I thought I was finished and I came across this one because what I really was wanting was a genuine leather jacket. A really good genuine leather jacket that would carry me through for years and years. And the ones that I've just shown you, of course they will because I have other jackets in my wardrobe that I've had for years. But this jacket is by Treasure and Bond. I got a size large. I believe it's a 1012. It is the softest softest leather I think I've ever felt. So I'll try it on for you and show you just how beautiful it is. And again, I got this at Nordstrom and it was, if that's gonna pick up, $329. I did pay full price for it. And this is the last jacket that I'm going to be buying this year. I went a little crazy, yes I did, but I feel like I got some really great pieces for my wardrobe. Here it is. This is what I've been looking for my entire life. Look at the silhouette of this jacket. It is the softest leather that I think I have ever felt. It is so warm. I love the detailing on it. It has a pocket here. It fits me like a glove. It's a size large, I believe a 1012. It's a very classic piece it looks like it would cost triple the amount. So I'm really glad that I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought this jacket. I love the inside of it. It's very, very warm. We are going to Oregon and San Francisco next month, so I'll definitely be taking this jacket with me. This is a piece that I'm going to wear over and over and over for many years to come. So I'm, this is the grand finale, you guys. So I love all my purchases, but this one, this is it. So this year on my channel, I want to inspire you guys. I am inspired by you. I get some of the most lovely compliments from all of you. And just because you're over 50 does not mean that you have to be boring or drab or dull. I mean, I think that's all the more reason to really amp up your style, have fun with it. And that's what I intend to do this year. I'm not going to be doing unboxing after unboxing after unboxing with handbags. I have so many handbags and like I told you guys before, I'm just trying to fill in some gaps, but clothing, that's another story. I don't normally spend a lot of money on my clothes, and the most expensive item in that haul was the leather jacket, and like I said, it wasn't really that bad for the quality, so I think you can just have so much fun and just try it. Just try to step outside the box and have some fun. I hope you were inspired. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.